No, on the number one seed alliance, we got 1678 citri Citrus Circuits picking up 254 of the Cheesy Poofs. They're playing with 649 MSAT Fish and 2557 uh, Soda Bots. So 254 having a lot of inconsistencies yesterday. 1678 Citrus Circuits, number one consistent robot here. So can they mesh those two elements together? Can the Citrus Circuits bring up 254 and extract that dominant performance that they can have inside of them somewhere and have them play it every single match out there? That's the big question to me. Yeah, there's a reason why they went undefeated during the regular season here. And they're trying out a few new drivers this time, which is kind of, I think they're kind of starting to get into the groove. If they can continue that groove, they're almost, I think we're looking at a very tough to beat alliance here. Yeah, I have to totally agree with that. We're, we saw their first match of the day that the Cheese Foos came out and they played it extremely well. Um, I'm excited to see Citrus Circuits and Poof play again together. Um, you know, they have many matchups, many regional wins together. Uh, when they show up, they, they, they have the elements behind the scenes that they can interact together well, already on the same page on a lot of elements of the gameplay. So. This number one seed alliance, they're going to be a tough one to beat. But going up against them is an eight seed alliance that had the opportunity to pick two robots in a row on w uh, right at the end of the first round. So they have a well-balanced alliance. How are they going to put pressure on the number one alliance here? Yeah, this number eight seed alliance led by 5803 Apex, um, they had the opportunity, they, they've been playing smart defense this entire weekend. In fact, they had a matchup where they shut down the Cheesy Poofs, and that led to the Cheesy Poofs first, um, their first their first loss all season long. I'm stuttering to say that because it's such an unusual thing, but they were able to pick up 3309 Friar Bots and 846 Monkey Monkeys, who are both two really good scale robots. So you have a, a team who knows how to play defense, who knows how to control the flow of a match, and you open up opportunity with two good scale robots, and think really good things can happen on that alliance, especially if they can throw a wrench into the number one seed's usual plan. Yeah, speaking of opportunities, 3478 is their, is their, third, part, their third pick here and they are no slouch at the scale. If they can come up with some sort of, some sort of rhythm 30, and the defense doesn't actually work, they have another opportunity here to try and attack the scale with all three scale robots, 3309, 846, and 3478, to potentially keep up with the power of 1678 and 254. It's a risky, it's a risky move, but sometimes if you can get into that rhythm, it can really work out. The first two matches that we see from this matchup might just look very different. Different robots, different strategies from both alliances. Let's go on to the next Chessy Champs, please welcome back your Master of Ceremonies, Pat Fairbank. Welcome to the playoff rounds at Chessy Champs. First off, in the quarterfinals, we're going to see the number one alliance face the number eight alliance. Let's meet some of these teams. On this first alliance, we've got a couple of teams that have played together before, but not since 2016 on a playoff alliance. First up, they go to several regionals a year. They usually win three. They've won a championship. They are Team 1678. From Davis, California, it's the Citrus Circuits. In the center station, they won a couple of regionals this year. They are back-to-back -back champions of the world, 254. From right here in San Jose, it's the Cheesy Poofs. The third member of this alliance, solid local team, Team 649. From Saratoga, California, it's M Set Fish. Down on the blue side, Alliance number eight, Team 3309. Hailing from Anaheim, California, it's the Friarbots. Center Station, Mexican Powerhouse, Team 3478. From San Luis Potosi in Mexico, it's Lambot. And rounding out this alliance, Team 846. From San Jose, California, it's the Funky Monkeys. Are you ready to start playoffs at Chessy Champs? Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one. Power up. Right away into autonomous mode. It looks like a scale auto coming out of Citrus Circus. They get out of the way. Here come the Poofs now. They make it two onto the scale. Funky Monkey's missing theirs for blue. Poofs make it three for red. Poofs trying to get a three cube auto. That's gonna be, oh, only three for red, but none for blue. 
blue. Desk really needs to get back onto the scale. Poofs and Citrus have to work on that collaboration. Funky Monkeys going high. Friarbots with another to follow. 1678 dropping two cubes so far. And Poofs getting jammed up on that switch. We've got a polycarb flap up and possibly in the way. Red Alliance still controlling the scale, but only by a cube or two. They've got lots of ammo in the tank. Poofs push one off. It's tipping towards blue. Blue Alliance takes the scale. Citrus with a quick response. Maybe coming back towards red now. Citrus sniping a cube from the Friar Bots. Cheesy Poofs going high for red. 34-78 having to go way onto that second level. It's up, it's down. We got a Polycarp flap on the field. The Citrus knocks down two cubes now. It's tilting towards the middle. This match is close as ever. Only a 50 point lead. Neither team is ready to get a levitate. Here it goes towards blue. Oh, just barely, Friar Bots, it drops. Oh, another one, another drops. It's back towards red. Cheesy Poofs looking for a cube. Teams are running out of ammo. MSF Fish playing defense, getting caught up in the blue no zone. That's a foul. 254 scoring on the switch. A huge knock now, another cube falls off the red side. Only 15 seconds, teams are going for the climbs. There's a cube on the ramp. Citrus not gonna be able to use the ramp. That's contact in the platform zone. That's another big foul against Blue. Four, three, two, one. Buzzer beater, climb. What a fantastic way to kick off the elimination matches here at Chessy Champs. Number eight Alliance bringing the heat to the number one. There were some fouls in that match. Give our referees a second to bring everything in. Citrus Circus, look at that nail biter of a climb. Because of that contact in the platform zone, the Red Alliance has been awarded two free climbs. Let's see the scores. This one goes to the Red Alliance, 408 to 230. Let's get that match broken down by the RoboSports Network. 1678 there taking a last second rocket straight up to get that face the boss, but. What did we see that match that we didn't really expect, Ty? So I think the important thing here is while there's incredible amount of scale power on 1678s, 254s, and 649s alliances, there were a lot of dropped cubes. And being able to capitalize on those dropped cubes by the blue alliance can made this a lot closer, made it look a lot closer than it really was. Yeah, that's really something that maybe in the quarterfinals might not be the worst thing when you're the number one alliance. You have a lot of power there, but Blue, the eight seed, was able to keep up, even sitting out their alliance captain. And we might see from this eight alliance maybe even a, a lineup change, trying to just put more pressure on 254 and 1678, who mostly looked like they were running where they wanted to run 254 back to the vault, something we've seen them do quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Two, 254 and 1678 were kind of running. Were do, they were doing their own thing. They had their own time. And 5803 has been so good all this weekend of being where the other team wants to be. And I, I think that can be really, really helpful. I think the other alliance in, or the other teams in 3309, 846, and 3478 got in the way of each other a little bit. I think we might see a case where two people, two teams attacking the scale might be faster than three.